Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. India's first indigenous stealth combat vehicle program is taking its first steps to reality, as the DRDO developed prototype will be flown this year. It will be fitted with a Russian Saturn 36MT turbofan engine, for recording the flying characters of the design. The Modi government has already sanctioned 3000 crore rupees, to develop a dry cavalry engine variant for powering the vehicle. As it doesn't require much complex technology developments like AMCA, it is expected to become mature much faster than the AMCA program. The Communications and Information Technology Minister of India has said, that the purchase of the Rafale aircraft was an intergovernmental deal, and not a company-to-government deal, and the price during the BJP government is 9% cheaper, than what was negotiated under the Congress government. According to India's defense procurement rule, the price cannot be revealed, and this is an established procedure. According to media reports, the Agni 5 will undergo the final pre-induction test in October, and will be inducted into the Strategic Forces Command for deployment. India's submarine launched program is also well on track, with ranges up to 3,000 kilometers. The Tupolev Aircraft Company of Russia, will develop a modernized Tu-95 strategic aircraft for Russia's Defense Ministry. The modernized Tu-95 has twice the range than the Tu-22M3, that India expressed interest to purchase from Russia in the past. The Union Minister for Science and Technology has said, that the state-run National Aerospace Laboratory's 19-seater Saris aircraft, will be ready for commercial use within the next three years. The Saris project was revived, after the Modi government sanctioned 100 crore rupees for the indigenous aircraft. According to sources, the J-16 fighter jets may have completed the combat trials, and are possibly being inducted into the Chinese Air Force. Military observers have said, that more J-16 aircraft are entering service, based on the serial numbers seen on fighter jets used in the recent drills, and it seems that it is quietly adding to its squadron. According to latest reports, India's ocean surveillance ship is undergoing harbor trials, and is likely to be delivered by December. During the sea trials, its specialized surveillance systems will be extensively tested. In an attempt to strengthen bilateral relations with Fiji, INS Sahadri has arrived on a goodwill visit to the island nation. The naval ship is visiting the Republic of Fiji, after participating in the RIMPAC exercise held in Hawaii. The government is ready with its plan to create a new body, to handle military purchases in a speedy manner. The expert committee has recommended, that the first year budget for the body should be 400 crore rupees. US President Donald Trump has signed a $716 billion defense spending bill, that would delay the delivery of the F-35 fighter jets to Turkey. The new defense spending bill gives the Pentagon a $638 billion base budget for defense-related programs, and an additional $69 billion for overseas operations.